Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this really pretty flower granny square. For my granny square I used a 4mm crochet hook and in this video I used US terms. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do for our granny square is we are going to make a magic circle. So to do a magic circle you want to take your yarn and then you want to wrap the yarn around your finger once and then you want to wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross like this. You then want to take your crochet hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross and then using your crochet hook pick up the second loop of the cross and pull it through like that. And once you have done that you have a magic circle. So once you have your magic circle we are now ready to move on to round one of our granny square. And the first thing that we're going to do for round one is we're going to chain one. So you want to chain one and this does not count as a stitch. So what we are now going to do for round one is we're going to work 16 single crochets all into our magic circle. So 16 single crochets. So to do a single crochet, you insert your hook in through the circle, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And that is one single crochet, and you want to work 16. So I'm going to work a second one. And then a third, and a fourth, and just keep going until you have worked 16 single crochets into your circle for round one. Okay, so once you have worked 16 single crochets into your magic circle, to finish off round one, you want to take your straggler end or your tail here and you want to close up your magic circle. So to do that, you take your tail or your straggler end and you just pull it, pull it nice and tight and that will close up your magic circle. So the very last thing that we're going to do for round one is we're going to work a slip stitch into the very first single crochet that we made. So into this very first single crochet here, we want to work a slip stitch. So to do a slip stitch, you go in through the stitch and then pull the yarn through and through like that. And once you have done that, that is round one completed and now on to round two of our okay, granny square. Okay, so in round two of our granny square, we are going to be making our flower here. We are going to be making these bobbles which create our flower. So that is what we are going to be doing for round two. So you want to begin by chaining three. You want to chain one and then two and then three. And this chain three counts as a stitch. This counts as a double crochet. So to create our flower here, we are going to be making these bobbles. And to do these bobbles, what you want to do is you want to work five double crochets together. So each bobble will be made up of five double crochets together. And the very first bobble that we do will be slightly different to all of the rest. And that is simply because you have the chain three here. So this first one will be a little bit different, so I will show you how to do that. But all the rest will be the exact same. And you make up each bobble by doing five double crochets together. So we have this chain three here, and this chain three counts as a double crochet. So that is one double crochet. And what you want to do is you want to go into the very same stitch. So the very same stitch that this chain three comes out of. So you want to yarn over and go into the stitch just as you would with a normal double crochet and then yarn over and pull up a loop as you would with a normal double crochet. 
you then want to yarn over and pull through two loops as you would with a normal double crochet. But you want to stop here. You do not want to complete this double crochet. Instead, we are going to move on to the next one. So you want to yarn over and go into the same stitch and then yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops. You should now have three loops on your hook and we're going to move on to the fourth one and this is the fourth double crochet as we have our chain three which counts as a double crochet. So you yarn over and go into the stitch and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So that is the fourth double crochet and we are now going to work the fifth and final double crochet of this bobble. So yarn over and go into the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And you should now have five loops on your hook, one, two, three, four, five. And what you want to do is you want to yarn over and pull through all five loops to complete the bobble like that. And this is going to create a bobble like this that will make a petal of our flower. And this first bobble will be slightly different to all of the rest and that is because of the chain three. So once you have your first bobble, you now want to chain three. So one and two and three. So chain three. And we're now going to skip the next stitch. So skip the next stitch here and you may need to move your bobble to see this next stitch but skip the next one and into the next stitch we're going to work another bobble. So if you remember to do a bobble we work five double crochets together and the next bobble is going to be slightly different than this first one we did and that is because we don't have the chain three but the way that we do this next one will be the way that all of the other ones are worked throughout our round two. So we have chain three and skipped the next stitch and into the next one we're going to work a bobble. So we're going to yarn over and go into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So that is one incomplete double crochet and you want to do this five times in total. So yarn over, go into the loop, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And then do this again. And again. And again. So you should now have six loops on your hook and this is five incomplete double crochets and then to complete this bobble and to complete all five of these double crochets you want to yarn over and pull through all six loops like that. And as you can see this bobble that we just worked was slightly different to the first one but the way that we just worked this one by doing five double crochets together that is how we're going to work the rest of the bobbles around. So once you have your bobble you now want to chain three. So chain one, two and three and we're now going to skip the next stitch. So skip the next one and into the next stitch along work another bobble. So you want to yarn over and skip the next stitch but into the next one, go into the stitch, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops and you want to do this five times in total. Yarn over into the same stitch, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And again, then a fourth time and then finally a fifth time. You should now have six 
loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and pull through all six like that. And there you have completed another bobble and you want to chain three. And you want to continue doing this all the way around for round two. You want to work a bobble, chain three, and then skip the next stitch. Then work a bobble, chain three, and skip the next stitch. Bobble, chain three, skip the next stitch. And just keep going all the way around like that for round two. So I've done a bobble and I've chained three. So I'm now going to skip the next stitch and into the next stitch work another bobble. And a bobble is made up of five double crochets together. So five incomplete double crochets that are all completed together by pulling through six loops at the very end. So here I am working a bobble and I should now have six loops on my hook and I'm going to yarn over and pull through all six and I now want to chain three. So chain one, two and three and then skip the next stitch and then work a bobble, then chain three, skip the next stitch, bobble, chain three, skip the next stitch and just keep going all the way around for round two. Okay, so I have just finished working that all the way around and this is what I have. And I'm going to finish off by working a final chain three. I've worked my final bobble. So I'm going to work a final chain three. I'm then going to skip the next stitch. So skip this next stitch here. And then I'm going to finish off round two by working a slip stitch into the very first bobble that I made. So into this bobble here, you want to go into the top of the bobble, so into this stitch here, which is at the top of the bobble, go in through the stitch and work a slip stitch. So just pull the yarn through and through. And that has completed round two. And what you now want to do is fasten off. We are now done with this colour, so you want to pull your hook out like that and cut your yarn and fasten off and we are now ready to move on to round three of our granny square. So we have just completed round two and we are now on to round three and we are going to do something a little bit different and we are going to turn. So we're going to turn our work and the reason for doing that is that the bobbles stick out a lot more on this side. So this creates the nice flower like this that sticks up out of our granny square and that is what we want. So we were working like this and we're now going to turn our round one and two and turn them around this way and then continue working as normal for round three and four. So you want to turn your work before moving on to round three. Okay, so to begin round three, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach a new colour. And you can attach any colour you would like. However, if you do this in green, it looks like the leaves. And the way that we're going to attach a new colour is we're going to start off by doing a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, you want to take your yarn and you want to wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook and go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. So for round three, we are going to be working into the chain three spaces of last round. So into this space and this one and this one and this one and all into these chain three spaces. So we want to attach a new color into one of these spaces. So just pick a random space. 
I would recommend maybe not going with the one that we just finished off on. Go with a different one. So I'm going to go and choose this one. So you want to insert your hook in through the chain three space. You then want to take your new yarn and this should be both strands. So the yarn coming from the ball and then also the straggler end. So take both these pieces of yarn and place them sort of over the back like this. And then using your crochet hook, you want to pick up this new yarn and pull it through. And that is both pieces, the yarn coming from the ball and the straggler end. You should now have three loops on your hook and you want to take this last loop here, this one, and you want to take this loop and this loop only and pull it over the end of your crochet hook, leaving the other two loops still on the hook. You then want to take your new yarn and pull tight. And there you have attached a case of colour. Three, we are going to be making the leaves of our flower that go all the way around. And to make each leaf, what you want to do is you are going to work three double crochets together. So to make the bobble, we made five double crochets together. And to make these leaves here, we're going to work three double crochets together. So it's the same concept, but instead of doing five double crochets together, we're going to do three. So we're going to start off round three by chaining two. So chaining one and two. So we have attached a new color and then chained two. And this counts as a stitch. All of this counts as one double crochet. Okay, so once you have your attach a new color and chain two, which counts as a double crochet, we're now going to yarn over and go into the same space, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And we're then going to do this again. Yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. You should now have three loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that is three double crochets together and this creates our leaf shape like this. And this one will be a little bit different to all of the rest. Just like in round two, the first bubble that we made was slightly different to all of the rest because of the chain three that is the same with this leaf here. So once we have our leaf, our first leaf, we're going to chain two. So we're going to chain one and then chain two. We're then going to move on to the next chain three space here and into this chain three space, we're going to work three double crochets together. And the way that we work this one will be the way that we work all of the rest for this round. So you want to yarn over and go into the space, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So that is an incomplete double crochet and you want to do this again. Yarn over, go into this loop or into the space, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And do this a final time a third time. You should now have four loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and pull through all four loops to complete the three double crochets together. And this creates our leaf shape here. And the way that we just worked that one will be the way that we work all of the rest for this round. What we are now going to do is we're going to chain two and this next space here is going to be a little bit different. In round two, at the same time as working our leaves, we are also going to begin turning our circle into a square. So we're going to do that by adding in some corners. And by the end of this round, our shape will not be completely square, but by the end of round four, it should be. So we're going to be adding in some corners. So this next space will turn into a corner. So what you want to do is work three double crochets together, just like we have done. So yarn over and go into the space, pull up a loop, 
yarn over and pull through two loops and do this two more times. And you should now have four loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all four loops. So there we have three double crochets together. And what you now want to do is chain three. So chain one and two and three. So chain three. So we have worked three double crochets together and then chained three. And what we are now going to do is work three more double crochets together. So another leaf into the same space. So yarn over and go into the space and work three double crochets together. Or work another leaf all into the same space. And that is going to create our corner like this. And this will create a corner. So what you now want to do is chain two and we're going to move on to the next chain three space here and into this space we're going to work three double crochets together. So three double crochets together all into this space. Like that. You then want to chain two and into this next space here we're going to work another corner. So just like we did here, into this space, we're going to do the same thing. So that is work three double crochets together or work a leaf, then chain three, then work another leaf or three double crochets together all into the same space. So yarn over and go into the space and work a leaf or work three double crochets together then chain three and work three more double crochets together into the same space. Like that. And there we have another corner. You can now chain two, so chain two, and into the next space work a simple leaf. So just one. So just three double crochets together. Then chain two again. And into the next space, we are back onto a corner. So work three double crochets together. Then chain three. And then work three more double crochets together. All into the same space. like that. So we have another corner. You then want to chain two and into the next space work three double crochets together, plain and simple, or just work a leaf. So just work one leaf, then chain two. And once you have done that, this is what you should have. And we are back to where we started. And if you look at our work, we have corner, then just a plain leaf, or this will turn out to be a side of our granny square, then a corner, then just a side or a plain leaf, then a corner, and then a side. So we are alternating between corner side, corner side. So we have worked corner side and we are back on to where we started. And this here needs to become a corner. At the moment, we just have a leaf into here. We just have three double crochets together. But into this space, we want to make a corner. So we want three double crochets together, chain three, and then three more double crochets together, all into this space to make a corner. Or leaf, chain three, leaf. So at the moment, we just have one leaf. So we want to make up the difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over and go into the space and work three 
double crochets together. So make our second loop. Like that. And then going to chain three. And the final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work a slip stitch into the top of this first leaf here. So into the top of this leaf, go in through the top, so into this stitch, and work a slip stitch. So just pull the yarn through and through. And this will complete round and two. And if you have a look at our work, our work is not completely square, but we will work on that in next round. But if you pull it out, you can see we are definitely getting a more square shape. We have four corners, and we have four sides. So we have corner, side, corner, side, corner, side, corner, side. So we started off in this space here, and then we worked all the way around and finished off in the very same space by finishing off a corner. And that is the way that most granny squares work. When it comes to making a circle shape into a square, you usually start in a space, work all the way around, and finish off by making that Space into a corner at the very end. So once you have done that, to finish off round two, we are now done with this green colour, so you can fasten off, so just cut your yarn, pull it through, and we are now ready to move on to round four and the final round of our little flower granny square. Okay, so to begin round four, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to attach a new colour. And we are going to do this in the same way that we attached a new colour last round. So you want to take the yarn and make a slip knot. And put the slip knot onto your hook. And you then want to select any corner. So any corner, and a corner looks like this, you have the three double crochets together chain three, three double crochets together, and you want to select any corner, it must be a corner, and you want to go in through the space and attach a new colour. So pull the yarn over the back, pull it through, and then pull this last loop all the way over your hook, and pull tight. And there you have attached a new colour. And for this round, for round four, this is the final round of our granny square. And what we are concentrating on now is making our granny square as square as possible. So we're going to make it into a square shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin working into this space. And just like last round, we're going to start off working in this space, work all the way around and finish off this space at the very end. So this space that we start working in here will be a corner. So this will turn out to be a corner. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to chain two. So you want to chain two. And this attaching a new color and chaining two counts as a stitch. This counts as a double crochet. So once you have this here, which counts as a double crochet, we are now going to work two more double crochets into the stitch or into the space. So you want to yarn over and go into the space, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops. That is one double crochet, and you want to work a second one. So there we go. There we have three double crochets. And this will end up as a corner and we will finish it off at the very end. We'll work all the way around and finish off this corner at the very end. So we're now going to chain three, and into the next space, we are going to simply work three double crochets. So we're going to work three double crochets into this space. And this space is a flat side. And every time we work a flat side, we are simply going to work three double crochets, just like we have done. We are now going to chain one, and into the next space, this is also a flat side. So in between each corner, we have two flat sides. So into this space, we're going to work three double crochets, just like we just did to make a flat side. We're now going to chain 
one. And this next space is a corner. And we can see it as a corner as it was a corner last round. And into this corner, we are going to work three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets. And every time we have a corner in this round, that is what we're going to work. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So I'm going to work three double crochets. And then going to chain two and work three more double crochets all into the same space, all into this corner space here. And this is going to create the corner of our granny square. And when you are working granny squares in general, this is what you will find. Whenever you have a corner, you will have a set of stitches, you will then chain something and then work another set of stitches all into the same space to create the corner. So we are now going to chain one and we are back onto a flat side. And if you remember, just like up here, we have two flat sides in between each corner. And for a flat side, you just work three double crochets into the space. So we're just working three double crochets into the next space. You then want to chain one and into the next space, this is also a flat side. So we're going to work three double crochets into this space also. And you then want to chain one again. We are now back on a corner and into the corner, just like last time, you want to work three double crochets, then chain two and work three more double crochets all into the corner. So three double crochets, chain two, and then three more double crochets all into this corner space. You then want to chain one and we are back onto a flat side. So we are working three double crochets. You then want to chain one again and we are back onto another flat side. So work three more double crochets. Now you want to chain one and we are back on to a corner. So as with every corner, you want to work three double crochets, chain two, then three more double crochets all into this space for the corner. like that and we are now on the final stretch so you want to chain one and then work three double crochets for this flat side chain one again three more double crochets into the next space And chain one and now we are back on to where we started and like I said this space would eventually turn into a corner every square needs four corners so this space is going to turn into a corner at the moment we just have three double crochets into this space so we need to make up the difference we need to work three more double crochets into the space Like that so now we just have two sets of three double crochets so you want to chain two okay so I've worked my final chain two and I'm now going to finish off my corner and the granny square by working a slip stitch into the top of the first chain three that we made here or it was attached a new color and chain two so I'm going to go into the top 
of the second chain, which is here, and work a slip stitch. So just pull the yarn through and through. And once you have done that, you can fasten off, so cut your yarn, and then weave all of your ends in nice and securely into the back of your granny square, and you have done. Okay, so you want to make lots and lots of your granny square and it will get easier with each one you do and you can then attach them all together to make your blanket. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and thank you very much for watching. Bye!